on the 11th hour of the 11th day, the 11th month, the guns fell silent, marking the armistice of World War I. This year, 2018, the centenary of the end of First World War. Hi, Scott Lackman, 4510 TV. Today we're joined by President of Caboolture and Murrayfield and District's sub-branch, Bruce Miller. How are you going, Bruce? Yeah, good morning, Scott. How are you? Good. I wanted to get all that out because I just want our viewers to realise the importance of this centenary and particularly the 11th of the 11th. Uh, Bruce, there's a lot happening on that day in Caboolture and surrounds. Um, run us through what you're organising. Uh, yeah, it, it's um, normally a very low-key Remembrance Day, but this year, being the centenary, uh, what we're doing is having our normal uh, memorial uh, uh, program at the town square, mm -hmm. followed by a, a fairly big uh, display, I suppose, down in the lakes area. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we'll put, we're going to put buses on, uh, we're going to go take people who want to go to the uh, afternoon session, which starts at 12 o'clock, down, down to the area and uh, then we've got uh, a number of uh, features for the day. We've got uh, the Army Reserve, the local, the local Army Reserve. A lot of the community groups are also going to be down there selling their wares. Um, we've got uh, demonstrations on the Oval. But to start the whole thing off, we've got a uh, skydiver coming in with a 5,000 square foot uh, Australian flag wow. who will jump into the uh, football field down there at the Oval yep. and that'll start the day's, uh, or the afternoon's uh, session. Um, and that'll be followed by a display by a reenactment group uh, from the Second World War and uh, then we'll get on to the various uh, displays around, around uh, that uh, lakes area. There'll be Army Reserve cadets, scouts, um, there'll be, uh, kids will be able to go through and talk on an army radio to their mates down the other end of the, uh, of the, uh, the area itself. Uh, we'll have, wandering through the crowd there, uh, school kids and cadets uh, dressed up as uh, uh, soldiers from the previous wars, from the uh, First World War through. Now they'll be, they're, they'll be uh, from, they're from the drama sections of the high schools mm -hmm. and they'll be They've got a role. They'll okay. say they'll, they're private blogs, um, what he's been through, what he hasn't done, um, did he get wounded, did he get whatever. So just just to bring people uh, up to date with you know the way the the, the armistice feeling. Yeah. Uh, I think I think it's a great um, it's a great event you're putting on, and, and as we know, um, Remembrance Day it is often a, a bit more of a solemn occasion uh, of remembrance. But um, let's just look at that first um, the service that's happening at the Cenotaph at the Town Square of King Street, Caboolture. Um, is that a similar format to what we'd see on Anzac Day? Uh, it's similar, but it's it's not as long. So it it, it starts at quarter to eleven, um, and. Uh, We'll have um, uh, the normal prayers, etc. We'll have the laying of wreaths. Um, and uh, this year I've got uh, one of the special ed units from uh, Caboolture High School is going to come down. They're making a wreath at the moment and they're actually putting together some words that those kids feel uh, really uh, describe their feelings for the day. Yeah. And so they'll be, they'll be laying a wreath. Um, anyone who wishes to lay a wreath can do so. Mm -hmm. More than happy to do that. Uh, we'll also have a, an address, uh, he'll be by Major General um, Paul Alexander, retired, who is, uh, was the Chief, um, should I say, the Surgeon General of the Defence Force, Force, and so a lot of you people out there would know him anyway as a local GP. Okay. Uh, so Paul will do the address, uh, and then um, we'll call it a day at a roundabout. Um, 11, about 11.15, that'll be the end of it. Okay, and then um, get ready for the celebrations, get ready for the celebrations down in the park. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned some buses, so for folks that are maybe not able, where, where yeah. are those buses okay. happening? Okay, so the buses, the buses will be next to the square, pick up people next to the square mm -hmm. to go down there. Um, you know, if, if we're going to run buses out to the air, air, airstrip as well, because okay. there's three museums out there yes. that I've made arrangements with them to open their doors for us. So we'll run people who want to go to the air, to the uh, museums out there to have a look at the old warbirds and things. Yep. They'll be running from the uh, main street through the the um, uh, lakes area. So yeah, we'll 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 be putting those on. We'll also drop people back to the station or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably be uh, do a run for the the elderly at um, at the. Uh, 
RSL homes. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, all in all, uh, the whole thing's been paid for by the, by, by the various governments, like the state government, the federal government and the council. So, um, you know, it's at no cost to anybody. Yep. Uh, you have to buy your own food, of course, down, yes. at, the, down at the lakes. We've, we've got uh, four or five uh, food stalls down there. Mm -hmm. You have to buy your own food. Um, and what we do have is a number of fly, fly paths uh, through local aircraft clubs. We've got uh, formation flying with a, a number of four chipmunks, uh, which were trainers during the second, uh, no, during the uh, Korean War. Yes. Uh, and we've got some other Second World War aircraft yeah. flying over as well. Um, Bruce, to wrap things up, we just want to do a promo for our community TV um, that we really want to see people get out and support this, particularly being a Sunday, it's on a weekend. Um, we really want to see people at the service and then down in the Centenary Lake supporting the reenactments and, and everything you've put on. It, it has been a massive collaborative effort um, against organisations that you've spoken of, but um, our last message, how important do you think it is for our next generation to, to come along and, and the parents to bring them along and see all this? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's very important. I mean, we've got Anzac Day, and everybody has a holiday on Anzac Day, but mm. uh, this is never a holiday. This this Remembrance Day, and and it is. Remember, it it was the war to end all wars, and we've when we've just found out that it wasn't the war to end all wars. Mm. We've had another one. We've had many wars since then. Mm. Um, the futility of war is, you know, soldiers will never tell you. That they loved going to war, mm. you know, they 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 hated it. It's a terrible experience to go through, and uh, I just want the, the community to know that 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 it, it looks it looks a, looks like a great life, but um, it is very hard. Once you come back, we go through all sorts of traumas and 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 re-establishment problems. Um, so guys, you know, the community out there, I'd love you to come along. Have, enjoy yourself. See what we can offer you. What, yep. what, uh, what the military is all about, uh, and enjoy yourself. Yep. Bruce Miller, president of uh, Caboolture and Morayfield and District Sub Branch District, RSL. Yes. Um, thanks for your time, <laughs> thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. Um, it's going to be a great day of remembrance, and I'm sure the celebrations and the after after party uh, down in the <laughs> lakes. Um, it's it's going to be great. So okay. thanks. Thanks yep. very much.